What's up guys, Meredith with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we are checking out the Jeep license by True Shield at Clearview Skytop fitting all 2009 through 2018 JK Wranglers with the factory hardtop. Now if you want some better views and a freer feel to your Wrangler, this Jeep backed Skytop will do just that. Now this is a very unique way to enjoy the time spent in your Wrangler by opening up your overhead view without sacrificing your protection so you can enjoy some freedom without being subjected to the elements, especially uh, good if you don't take the top off or the T-tops off too often. It's also very easily removable if you do like to switch it up, but this is surely for the Wrangler owner looking for a way to have their build stand apart and just enjoy the cool experiences from the comfort of your driver's seat while remaining protected. Now, if you think about it, this will allow you to enjoy all of the sights from overhead views of natural landscapes, the city, weather, uh, rain and snow would look really cool out of this, and really anything that you don't normally see above you, which will be fully visible, uh, which is such a cool thing to enjoy. Now, with that, the tough design will also keep you comfortable on the inside, and the tint on it isn't just for appearance, but it will take away from the harshness of uh, overhead sun glare that you may experience. And this also has some dimension to the top, which will elevate the styling. And to show you that it's backed by Jeep, this does have a quality stylish Jeep logo etched right on the side. Now this will be one piece and be completely bolt on just like the factory freedom panels and secure in the same location. Now you will have three factory style clamps on the front to clamp into each of the footman loops so you are getting an extra one and you'll have easy turn style bolts through the sides and the rear of the sports bar to create a weather type seal with quality rubber seals. Now the main part of the top is made of a smoked polycarbonate material. It's going to be flexible but it's going to be tough and impact resistant. Now polycarbonate is used on headlights because of the plastic's durability and resilience, so using it here works incredibly well for this application and it has that super clear look to it even though it does have a smoked finish. Now this is gonna be a pricey mod for sure at about $1,700. Now compared to other solutions for replacement style panels, this one is definitely gonna stand out. Now this is one of the only options that is going to give you the best of both worlds for a replacement panel with feeling a little freer and maintaining protection at the same time from the elements with a hard top option. Now it's also backed by Jeep, which is going to explain some of that price point considering it is built with OE style quality. So I personally think if you want the cool experience, and you're willing to invest in a part that's gonna stand out from the rest, this is gonna be right up your alley. Install will be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It's probably gonna take you about 20 minutes to get your old T-tops off and get this fitted up properly for the first time. Uh, after that, it's gonna be a couple minutes at that. Now, at this point, we can head over to our shop and check out a detailed breakdown on how to get this onto your JK at home. So that is going to wrap it up for my review. Let's go ahead and get into the install. Hi, everyone. Today, we're installing a sky top on our Wrangler. So let's get started with the uninstall of the Freedom Panels. All right, if you've never removed your freedom panels before, it's a really simple process. And the really cool part is you don't need any tools to do it. What we've got is we've got two screw bolts back here, four latches on the sides, and then two flip down latches in the front. So let's go ahead and get those out. All right, now it might be a little difficult to see these, but these two screw bolts are right here next to this courtesy light in your sound box. So we're just going to grab a hold of that and twist the handle and get those removed. Now we'll do the one on the other side. All right, now we can undo our lever latches. We've got two in the center here. Just need to flip those out. And then there's one in the corner here on the driver's side. And then one over here on the passenger side in the same location. Now we'll get our two front latches and those are both underneath the sun visors. So you just flip your sun visors down, grab the handle and pull it back. Now with all of our latches released, we can go ahead and lift up on our freedom panel and get it out of the way. Now you do wanna start from the driver's side first so let's go ahead and get that done. Now 
Now with the driver's side out of the way, you can go ahead and do the same thing for the passenger side. Now if you have roll bar pads installed on your Jeep, you will need to remove them unless you have pre-drilled holes in the bottom of your pads. Now ours only has one in the front, but we need one in the back. So we're going to take ours off. You can take a utility knife or a razor blade or something of that nature and cut holes in the bottom and the top of yours if you want to. You can feel where the holes are at underneath the padding material. We're just gonna go ahead and take ours off. We're just gonna unzip ours from front to back. Unhook the Velcro. and do the same thing for the other side. All right, now we're ready to actually install our top. At this point, I do recommend that you get a buddy to help you lift it up and over the top. It just makes things a little easier. All right, and just like for the uninstall, there are no tools required to install this new top. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our front latches here. So we just pull down on those, lock them into place. And now we'll move to the ones in the rear. All right, now we'll go ahead and install our retaining bolts for the back. And you'll notice when you look at these that there's no rubber grommet on these. That lets you know that these are the ones for the rear. Now we'll do the other one. All right, now we'll do the ones for the sides. And like I said, these have a rubber grommet on it, so that's how you know it's the ones for the side. And now you can go ahead and do the same thing for the passenger side. And that wraps up our review and install of the Jeep Licensed by True Shield Clearview Skytop for your 09 to 18 Wrangler JK. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Wrangler, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.